Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going to look at Batocera, especially at installing Windows games on Batocera and especially at installing GOG game releases on Batocera. So, firstly I'm going to show you that I have the setup files. I press F1, then I come to the file browser. So we are going to go to ROMs and uh, Windows installers. So we are going to try this game, let out one. And you can see down here that this is the GOG release. Uh, you can also see in the folder. Uh, yeah, we can see later in the setup more information. So let's go back. Now we are going to enter this Windows category and we have selected the first here install a new game, a new Windows game. We are going to press enter and here we have the same folder structures as before. So we are going to select flatout1, the setup of flatout1 enter so now it's going to um, prepare the wine files for emulation of windows games so we just wait a little bit and now you can see the setup uh, it's appearing uh, on uh, the screen and as I noticed, most of the GOG releases uh, have a pop up uh, language selector uh, window, and afterwards it, it shows the real setup. But at this screen, we only have mouse if we move into the center of the screen with the mouse, and then when we select OK here. It looks like the whole thing is frozen but it's not really frozen because if we press alt and tab we have an emulation station here and if we press again um, I think we should wait a bit yeah so as you can see we have several windows here now uh, we have the setup which appeared on the screen and we have this this, this um, I don't know why, why, why there are two of them I think maybe the first belongs to the language selector and the, the other one to the setup so uh, now we have options here and I like to have the games in C games And then we install it. Now, if this window didn't appear, I would show you how you um, you sneak your way into the setup. But now let's install it this way. Now flat out installed successfully, so we're going to select exit now. Now we have the Windows games here, so we're going to find flat out. Uh, it appears like this because it had that was the name of the setup file. We press enter or uh, the action the action key on your controller. And the first time we're going to get the wine file explorer which shows the, the contents of the uh, installed files like this with the C and Z drive and the C drive is the emulation of Windows and here we have the games folder 
So right now we're just going to test if it works. So we just press the exit file. can choose in this game we can choose uh, settings beforehand so let's maximum minus the resolution so now we have the game running but in order to have it run all the time uh, and not have to browse to the setup files not setup files and not have to browse uh, to the game files we have to create a command and I'll show you in a minute yes so we close the game with alt F4 we will close the browser with Alt F4. And now we go back to the game selector here. And we press F1 to get to the file browser. We go to ROMs. And we go to Windows now. That set up flat out something. I don't like this name, so I will rename it with my name. So we say flat out. Yes, and now we go inside this folder. And we have this auto run file which looks uh, in drive C and in our uh, case would be game, games, and then flat out. And I can remember what the uh, executable file is, but we'll look in a bit. So, drive C, games, flat out. And we have flat out that I uh, that uh, exe. So we just copy the path. So we have the whole path of this executable file. And we go back and edit auto run. First, we remove the hashtags in front of the, the lines. So the so we activate them. And then we remove everything here. the path now we have the path including the executable so we remove this last bit um, and put it here as the command then we remove the trailing slash and everything before drive C is removed as well Yes, and now we can save this and execute. And now we are ready to exit the file browser as well. And now we, when we go back to Windows, we have the old name here. So we go to the menu and update the game list and now it should have the new name flat out one and now when we enter we go directly to the um, executable file which runs the game Yes, and the game starts, so let's keep the intro. And I guess we we'll just start.
guess it was in the first screen when we selected the resolution. Yeah, never mind. If I remember well, chooses the arrows and shift when you get nitro. Let's get nitro. And R for reset. R is control for nitro, okay. So we remember these keys, we exit. And then the next step would be to create configuration for the controller so we use this keyboard to select the keys up oh this is down left put enter for start and select yeah, we know so If there are others, uh, we can map them on the other time. And then we press the menu, load, and we scrape. I didn't have the picture. This one has the picture, but that is for PlayStation 2. And this one, I guess, is for PC. It doesn't have any picture for PC. And this is for Wii. Okay, we'll leave without the picture for now.